All right, this is the ancient or first real player's handbook that there was for original Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, this, I believe, came out in 78 or 79, but this is the 80 edition. And uh, you see the Temple of Moloch here that's uh, built in, and there's a fire pit and so on, and this goes with biblical things and stuff too. And uh, they're stealing the eyes out of here, right? And these are known as the eyes of fire. And uh, there's a description of that in a lot of the old stuff. But uh, anyhow, and there's a bad description of this creature too and what it was and that people sacrificed their children to it, things like that. But I just want to make note of this for posterity's sake because I'm about to do this in the Dungeon Dragons online game that I've done that I've been playing for over three years now. And uh, they finally introduced it into the campaign. So uh, let's look at that. And uh, here I am in my player character. Now this is one of my other ones and not necessarily my main. And uh, here's a character sheet with all of her info on it and stuff. All of her stats. Crit, defense, everything. It's cut down a little bit. And that's my companion right there, Mojo. He's my Mojo. Well, we're going to go down here. It's not too difficult to, to defeat these guys, but and I've already cleared it out to right here. But we're about to go in here and just tear these guys up. I'm over their level, so I'm able to just really take them out. And uh, in this, I'm a great weapon fighter. So you can see this large weapon I've got here. It's really a, a, a dragon jawbone. Two dragon jawbones stuck on a club, basically. It's a barbaric club. And uh, you see this little bar right here left of me. When it builds up gold and gets past halfway, I'm able to do this thing where I can get huge and get uh, invincible like this, where I'm big now, and now I'm doing more damage and so on. Sneaking behind me. If they get around on you, see they did my companion there, and he just went down. I just pulled him back up. If they get surrounding you and stuff, they'll get combat advantage and do a lot more damage. But whenever I'm big, I take a lot less damage and so on. But it takes damage for me to build up my bar on the left to get big. So it all works together. Oh, the Hill of Skulls. Yeah, there's an old on a hill of skulls and a river near a river of blood. Da 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 da. Oh, now we're coming into it. Now I've got to choose the right one here. I'm going to go right. If you don't get the right one, it blows you back, and then you have to fight about one-third of them. Ooh, got it right on the first try. Look at there. Get you some. Anyhow, guys, uh, let me touch fire. That does a little healing thing to you. And i got to get down here and pick these eyeballs out. impressive they're really not that strong aren't doing a lot of damage to me they're well below my level I mean I'm almost maxed out on this character and therefore they're not really doing that much damage to me in effect except for this guy keeps jumping I'm gonna save my get big here we've got it all yeah and I'm just gonna round up these guys and if you look there it is there's that Temple of Moloch, and they've recreated it and stuff. All made out of gold, got his eyes, and I'm supposed to pry the eyes out of it after I kill all these people. And get this priest here. Take him out before he creates anybody else. There we go. <laughs> yep, get the gems. I'll need a mithril pickaxe, and I've already got one. Let's get a little 3D view on that. That's pretty cool. And it looks just like it. I mean, kudos to him for recreating the thing. But it's not exactly what the original temple looked like. The ones they have are from the descriptions we have. They get to see me pick out his eyes. See, I'm up there doing exactly the thing that's in the picture. And usually all hell breaks loose. And this one, because this is a new guy that we're going to attack... I can't fight him really, but in this one he's pretended to be hurt and injured. He's only got one third of his life up there if you look on that bar. Am I stuck here? There we go. Trick is to get my companion in front of him and then me behind him. Alright, now 
get my bar big. Oh, knocked me down. That's how you lose all your life out of it. He's gone. Oh, we got a ring of molting. I've got stuff that's better on myself. But, yeah. Just a small thing here. Now he's going to make me a portal to get back out. But now you can see he doesn't have his eyes. I dug Moloch's eyes out. And there's Orcus and all kinds of things in this. It's kind of neat. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd share that with y'all. And, uh, yep, that's the end of that one. Peace.